Hey friends, welcome to book talk number 19. Today's book talk is something I found at our library's book fair this year, and I was actually captured by the cover of the story. So you'll see here we have a teenage girl facing a army war tank, and she's got so much defiance in her stance. Um, it's called Resistance by Jennifer Nielsen. And when I picked it up, I wasn't really sure it was about the Holocaust because it takes on the story of some something that we don't normally hear about during this time. And so it's not about someone in hiding. It's not about um, much of the concentration camps and people surviving through that. Instead, it's about the groups of people that were resisting and were fighting back against the Nazi regime. And I have not heard a lot of stories about this. So this main character's name is Haya, C-H-A-Y-A, and it is historical fiction, but it is taking on the stories of things that actually did happen. There were resistance groups. Um, she's a teenage girl living in Poland, and she's had a lot of tragedy happen um, throughout the Holocaust so far. Her brother was sent off to a concentration camp. Her parents are just distraught about what to do. And she's like, I'm ready to fight back. There, Something has to happen. So she's brave enough to join a resistance group in Warsaw, Poland. And her task is to sneak into these Warsaw ghettos to get supplies and things to the Jewish people inside. Because what would happen is German soldiers would just kind of camp out outside these areas and force Jewish people to just live inside, not able to get out to get supplies and food that they need. So she actually, uh, the main character, has traits that make her seem like she's of the Aryan race. And if you know anything about what Hitler believed, he thought that the perfect race had fair skin, fair light hair, and like blue eyes. So she had these traits, although she was Jewish. So what they did was they gave her forged papers with a different name, Helena, and she would use these papers to go try to get through the gates past the German soldiers. And once she was in, she would then get the supplies to people. Um, I like the fact that it shows her struggle, though, because what she would do is she'd be really nervous. She'd be getting, going to the gate. She'd have her forged papers, so she'd have to pretend to be this other person and convince this German soldier that she was this person, but then she would get inside, and because she had these specific traits, she also had to convince the Jewish people that she was actually Jewish and her name was not Helena, so that they trusted her enough to take the supplies and she could do what she needed to do. Um, I love the determination of the character in this book. She's very strong, although she's young, and she just really wants to make a difference to help people. This paragraph kind of gives you a little sample of that. She says, But I'd get in it today, and tomorrow I would lie my way into another ghetto and do the same every day tomorrow after that until my last breath or theirs. After three years of war in which I'd felt helpless against the overwhelming force of the German army, I was finally doing something. I was bringing my people a chance to survive. So... Although dangerous and although she could get hurt or killed, she was willing to do this because she felt there was nothing else she could do at this time. She did not want to feel helpless. So go ahead and comment if you'd be interested. Again, a story that I you don't normally hear about, the uprisings that happened throughout, you know, Germany and Poland, but they were happening. You know, the Jewish were fighting back. So comment below and have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you next time.